What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here. Coming to you all from the mountains of East Tennessee. Uh, to be more specific on where we are, we are not far from US 129, better known as the Dragon. It's about 318 turns in about 11 miles. But if you all have kept up with my previous videos, we've already talked about that. But today, guys, we are here to talk about the ghost town known as Calderwood, Tennessee. Well, Calderwood, Tennessee was established in the early, early 1900s by the Alcoa Company. Now, the Alcoa Company, they were, uh, they were an aluminum smelting company, and they were along here on the Little Tennessee River creating a series of dams to create hydroelectric power. Now these three hydroelectric dams, they would send power back to Knoxville, Tennessee, to their, uh, their main location, which is presently known as Alcoa. And actually prior to this, Calderwood was named Alcoa up until about the 1930s when it was named by the, uh, the gentleman who started the Alcoa Company here in East Tennessee. Over the course of about 50 years, about 60, this company would provide power all to all of East Tennessee, not just itself. And actually, um, the Alcoa Company was called into service during World War II. But, with how times change, how time seems to suck up and not really leave much behind. That is the fate of Calderwood, Tennessee. You see, Calderwood was a planned city. The last person to leave this small town, this small community, was in 1978. And today, guys, we are going to see what is left of Calderwood. And I figured we would start out at the first location. This is the remnants of Calderwood Baptist Church. Now Calderwood Baptist Church, it stood for quite a few years up until about 2012-2013 when uh, its ceiling collapsed in its, um, in its sanctuary and up until about three years ago it was torn down. Um, all that really is left behind is this series of stairs covered in kudzu, covered in vines, trees. There's not really a whole lot left. But I figured, since we're talking about this place, I'll tell you all about my connection to this place. See, I came out here back in 2017, and I got to see the Calderwood Baptist Church. It stood right here. Now what all it really remains are a bunch of brush. Now um, they bulldozed this. I forgot what they did with the remains of the Calderwood Baptist Church. Um, I think they took it to a junkyard. But uh, here I'll show you some old footage from 2017 to show you all what it was like about five years ago. Now there is something I want to note about Calderwood. And what that is, is that even though Calderwood is a ghost town at this point in its, uh, its uh, present uh, state, um, Tennessee, Valley, or Tennessee Valley Authority, or TVA as it's better known, um, they do use some of uh, the old town's uh, buildings. Like for example, this is uh, Calderwood Station, what they call Brookfield. This used to be um, this used to be the old Cal or the old Calderwood uh, Elementary School. Now, as you all can tell now, um, pretty much the only use for it 
um, is office space. I believe that's pretty much what they uh, they use it for. Now, it's kind of obvious it's not a new building. It is from a bygone era. You've got the Tennessee flag right there. But uh, anyway, this is all what is left of the Calderwood Elementary School. And uh, huh. you can even see, if you look through it close enough, you can see the um, kind of like the lobby area where you could sign in. Now, as we go further back into Calderwood, you will see a lot of roadway that looks like a uh, driveway, but seemingly leads into nothing. Um, that's because when uh, most, uh, or when Calderwood was no longer inhabited, a lot of TVA went and bulldozed down a lot of these houses. Um, now, for example, I believe this is just a storage shed, but this all, no, that's from the 50s. So this is another remnant from Calderwood's past. And uh, kind of looks like their uh, TVA is just, or, no, that is a, uh, that is an old horse and buggy. That is really cool. I like to think that this was a farmer's plot of land at one point. And you know, it probably was. Maybe it was for the town. But as we were on our way to Calderwood Methodist Church and some of the other sites, um, this is an old guard shack. Not a whole lot left to it. Other than... Um, Supposing they're probably just using it for storage. If you uh, look out there, you can see an old foundation. I'm thinking that was probably an old, uh, an old TVA uh, building at one point. I don't think it was a part of Calderwood, but then again, I might be wrong. Uh, this big building right here, which is now used by TVA as well. This is a, um, I believe this used to be the old, um, the old dance, uh, hall for Calderwood. Um, also it's where they had, um, uh, something similar to like community centers and whatnot. Uh, they would watch movies in this building. And, uh, as I was saying, community center, this is the community center right here. I want to add this as well. Uh, while these buildings might be uh, used by TVA present day, they're also on the uh, National Registry of Historic Sites. So even though most of Calderwood has been torn down and is no longer really active as a city, um, these buildings will stand either till America ends or, or well, till the government starts funding this area. But still, just love how even present day, these buildings are still standing and they still kind of show a glimpse into what Calderwood was. The life of the miner, or I should say the life of the engineer that was trying to make a living for himself here in the East Tennessee region at the turn of the century. I don't think we can see what's inside, but um, regardless, I don't think we really even need, need to do that to really enjoy this building. Well, this is interesting. While we were heading up to the houses, I found this. Through the underbrush, y'all can't see it, but that is a, uh, that's a fire hydrant that has exploded. Now, if you come out here to Calderwood, um, this is something that I like to consider a, uh, a marvel. 
even though it probably isn't a marvel but since the 70s since uh calder hood or calderwood was uh made uh well non uh nomin or was was no longer declared as uh livable um or inhabitable i should say this um this old fire hydrant or busted back in the um i think it was about the 70s or the 80s you kind of see like the old uh, the old ironwork in that especially on the top of that as well but this entire time it has been pouring out like so and really I don't know where that water comes from because it's been doing it for the better part of about 60 70 years now and as we saw that we are coming up into the old residential area of Calderwood I think they tore down these buildings sometime in the 80s I believe it was sometimes the 80s um, looks like we're not going to be able to go that way but we could probably get this way under the tree and that my friends my fans my followers that is a really big tree i'm right here arms right here hands on the gopro i would probably say there you would probably need about another two of me to get around this tree this looks like this is a yellow poplar eh probably say it's maybe about 100 years old now as we get back into the undergrowth we will see some of the remains of the old uh, the old sidewalk that used to run up and down this entire town but really there's there's not even a even a whole lot of that left and i think that these uh these power lines they've been around here since since Calderwood finally shut down. Um, huh. Looks like we came to another piece. Actually, I was a bit off. This is, uh, this was a part of the old sidewalk. Now, on top of the hill, there is a better example of this. But for the most part, why I came out here is because there is, uh, there is one of these old houses that, uh, that has been left behind i had to get through the bushes but we have found one of the old foundations now when people lived and worked in this area this is about the about the size house uh, that alcoa or calderwood as you would say would uh would allot them they weren't really meant for families i guess you could put Maybe if they were, if you were a smaller family, but at the end of the day, this, it wasn't really a whole lot. And we have found some old, uh, some old piping. As we get further, we've got some more old foundations. Um, on top of that, we've got brick. Again, more piping from the days of Calderwood when it was still... A really really hustling and bustling area but that's really not the case anymore and uh, awesome we have more uh, more old foundations just kind of laying in the rubble when I was out here back in 2017 these were a lot more visible than they are now or at least on this side of what used to be called a wood I'm not sure oh, whoa that could have ended badly i'm not sure if it's just like all the debris with it being summertime or what but uh down here this hidden in the brush is a uh, an old school uh stairwell still not quite visible through the brush so now uh we're going to two other locations that are from the calderwood era but uh, I figured I'd show you all the old road that used to go through here. It's amazing what 70 years of change will do. As I was saying, this is a better uh, representation of that sidewalk that I was trying to show you all. But uh, this sidewalk goes all throughout Calderwood.
for the entire span that is Calderwood. This is the sidewalk. Now I like to think, no telling how many people walked along this sidewalk right here going to work every single day to work for the Alcoa company. I had trouble finding a good, uh, good example of this while we were on our way up to Calderwood Methodist. But uh, I like to think that perhaps maybe even ghosts are still walking along this roadway right here. Now there is a good reason why Calderwood Methodist is in better shape than what used to be Calderwood Baptist. Look at that cool moss. The reason because that is, is there were more uh, Baptists or more Methodists to Baptist in this uh, this town. So it's pretty well locked. Um, but uh, Calderwood Methodist was established in 1954. And this is probably, aside from the, uh, the buildings uh, down on the main road, this is probably one of the best preserved uh, from the, the ghost towns. Now, I do not know if uh, any of the old family members that used to live in this area take care of uh, the, the uh, headstones. I'm pretty sure they do. I mean, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't think that they wouldn't take, uh, take good care of it. But uh, these are the graves from what was once Calderwood. Does look like they are pretty well taken care of. Now this is something I was not expecting to see out here. Even though for me it's been about three years since, well five years I should say. This, uh, this above ground tomb was constructed in 1917. And you can even see the original tomb entrance from 1917. I mean typically, you know, above ground crypts, you you usually only see them in places like Florida or Louisiana. Kind of curious to know why that it is down here. Now I do have a little bit of time, if I'm not mistaken, it is possible to go inside the old Calderwood Methodist Church. Now way back when, Back when me and my old crew used to go uh, go places, there was even an old asbestos sign that had, uh, that was put in there. But uh, I think for the most part, that's been cleaned out. Look at that old toilet. And I think that used to be the urinal. Now, they did have this a long time ago, but this used to be the old Sunday school area and they had a uh, they did have a mural in one of these rooms. I don't think that they have it a anymore, but uh, we are going to find out and see if they do. I think it was in uh, this one. Let's check out that. Now you gotta know that's, that's been around for quite a while. So since we are down here, look at that old, that old, uh, I guess that's on the way up to the, uh, the steeple real quick. There's the men's restroom and that's not a whole lot left. And it looks like whoever was here before me kind of had a pretty decent setup. I don't think that could hold my weight any more than it could. But I think this is rat crap rat poop but I've been through worse and here we have what is the remains of uh, of the sanctuary I'm not sure if y'all heard that but it's a little bad but you guys we yes my baddie friend we're on our way out if you hear him chirping, he's not that, he's not that happy. Now, one of the things that makes Calderwood such a, 
such a peculiar ghost town is since it is still a part of um, since it's still a part of TVA um, they do close their doors at 3 p.m. in this area so anything after that time you'll pretty much be stuck there overnight but what I showed you this is about what all is left of the Calderwood ghost town um, there is one building that I was not able to get a hold of or see um, from the video that I did five years ago coming here. You see? That, my friends, is why we needed to get out. Because I would be running and trying to run out for my life if... Yeah, probably right around that point I, I would not be able to get out. But anyway, guys, here is that footage. Now, anyway, you guys, that building is still standing. Unfortunately, I was not able to get out there today. But remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Always means a lot. Goes to show that y'all care and that y'all want to see more awesome videos. So without further ado, you guys, this is going to be another vlog. Vlog over.